Hi everybody, I'm Jocelyn Chazelle, uh, one of the co-founders of uh, Effet Papillon Brewery. We are in uh, Merignac, it's near Bordeaux, and uh, we started the brewery in uh, 2017. Uh, how did you start? Was it, uh, what was your interest? Uh, so I just finished my studies first, and uh, that was law study, so no regular interest for beer. Uh, but the first company for who I worked was the barrel stuff and, uh, and they asked me if uh, I can just build a small brewery, a Pico brewery, to start uh, to make tests with the wood and beer and, uh, and I start like this. So I spent, I don't know, maybe one year to try to have a beer, good beer with the wood, but it was... Uh, uh, it wasn't good beer, so I asked them if I could have uh, any formation to, to, to have better beer, and they told me they don't have any budget for that, so, uh, so I just quit this company and uh, started by myself and uh, with uh, La Rochelle University. And after that, I worked a little bit with uh, Gascona and uh, La Deboche, two breweries in southwest of France. And, uh, and after that, I, uh, I worked for three years for uh, three brewers. And, uh, and after, we started the brewery with my, uh, with my girlfriend. Okay. And where did you get your investment from? Was it uh, just starting very small? Or? Uh, no, so we started with uh, 100K. Uh, and it was uh, only a family, family uh, company. So we only uh, we, we start only with my girlfriend and uh, and we need more people pretty pretty quickly. So uh, so now we are uh, 12 and uh, yeah that's how we start. Now, what's your production right now? So right now we're producing uh, 4,500 hectoliter. Okay, and from uh, what um, what you know, what's your installation right now? Uh, so we, we still have the same installation at the beginning, but uh, we just had more uh, fermenter and more BBT. We changed the bottling line, uh, we changed, uh, no, not that much, but uh, so right now we have a three vessel system, uh, 15 egg, and we are brewing uh, four times a day, so yeah. It's a full time job. Uh, yeah, that's a full-time job. <laughs> What's your style of beer? How would you describe it? Uh, so we're trying to make uh, uh, original beer for French market, but for a UK or US market, that's pretty boring beers. But uh, we, we, we need to do that to make sure the brewery is still... Uh, I mean, people are still interested for the new beer and craft beer. So we have a core range with the five beer, a lager, uh, we have an American Pale Ale, an IPA, uh, Rye Amber and an Imperial Stout. But uh, we, we are producing three, three different beer a month and we have a uh, barrel. So we are making a kind of a wild ale with lots of bread and acetic bacteria and uh, lactic bacteria. But uh, I don't know, we, we, we're trying to be not bad on all style we are brewing but i'm not sure we can well, we can say we are uh, uh, i don't know we are we're, we're trying all, all, all kind of beer i mean the, so right now at the festival we have uh, lichtenheiner uh, we are producing uh, berlin berlin Weiss, we are producing ipa napas uh, all, all kind of beer where do you go from here do you want growth or are you at a place where you want to be for now and then think about it? So for now we have uh, way more capacity than we are, we are selling. We have uh, almost uh, 9,000 egg of capacity. We just need uh, more stuff or, uh, or to change part of the equipment. But uh, I, I don't know if we'd like to grow more than that. Uh, when we'll brew uh, 9,000 egg, uh, I think that's going to be good for us. We, we will need to move, uh, maybe get our own building, and, uh, and I don't know, we'll see. But that's the project. What do you think of the French craft scene, uh, given COVID and uh, the changing taste and the wine? I don't know. Uh, I mean, COVID was really hard for, all, uh, for everybody, but maybe less for the brewery, I think. 
uh, we have whatever the government I think we have uh, good help from the government so uh, we were like uh, it, it was difficult because we were alone with uh, Mathilde my girlfriend at the brewery but uh, but in fact we we still have worked so so it was it was difficult for the mind but uh, but we keep sell, keep selling beer so uh, it was pretty okay and for the for the craft beer scene I think we are uh, we're getting better and better. I, I mean, uh, there is lots of good breweries now in France. When you're talking about uh, uh, Piggy, Popin, uh, I, I don't know, uh, even small brewery starting just uh, last year, like Jukebox Brewery. Uh, I don't know, I, I think right now the, the level is way better than a few years ago. And I guess uh, one of the interesting things is that there's the craft bars also springing up that people can go to. And yeah, we, we need that kind of bar to make sure the beer is sell and will sell, and uh, people still have interest of it. And uh, but we need, yeah, we need good seller to explain what we're trying to do, what we're doing every day. So, uh, but uh, that the same, same for me, the same than the brewery. I mean, uh, we're getting more and more good places. To, uh, to have good beer, so uh, that I, I think that's getting a good way. But it was really great to get a chance to talk to you because ah. I really like this beer. <laughs> that's good, thanks. Thank you. Thank you.